question is, why are some of the reasons why you'd be worried about per a person's judgment, do you think? What, what are the fears that you would have? Rejection. Rejection? Yeah, but you've also got to put up your hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, fear of rejection. So, so, I'm going to be doing something for other people because I'm afraid that if I don't do this for other people how they want it done, that they are going to reject me. So, once I've identified that emotion, I know straight away, if you think about it, I know straight away that the core emotion, one of the core emotions that I'm worried about is rejection. Does that make sense? So can you see in that, just that one instance, I've now identified a core emotion, even if it's an intellectual identification, I've now identified a core emotion as a reason why I might get angry or the reason why I've suppressed everything. Because I'm afraid of rejection. If I'm afraid of rejection, it means that I've got to yet feel the emotion of rejection. Does that follow? Can you see the linkage there? If I'm afraid of rejection, then inside of me there must be an emotion of rejection that I'm afraid of allowing myself to experience. And if that's the case, the fastest way for me to deal with that emotion is when I get triggered with an emotion of rejection to go straight into feeling. What's going to be the fastest way for me to get triggered with rejection? To stop doing something for someone else that they, I know they want me to do that I don't want to do. All I need to do is just stop it right now and I know the instant I do that, I'm going to get anger from them and I'm going to feel rejected. And if I can allow myself to get into the rejection, then I'll skip over all of these layers of suppression. And when the rejection disappears, what will happen to the most of the other layers? Of course, there's no longer any need to protect an emotion anymore. So many of those layers will disappear too. Can you see that? The relationship between those two things?